even though Gracie's like in a goth phase and I've always kind of been a goth girl and not so much of a girly girl, I do have to tell you that I really do love kawaii Japanese style on other people and in art and definitely in dolls. And today we've got something from Mattel that totally, totally plays into that with the Cuckoo Harajuku dolls today in Mommy's Doll Corner. <laughs> Mommy's Doll Corner. Huge, huge, huge thank you to Mattel for really hooking me up with the Cuckoo Harajuku dolls. This is a partnership between Mattel and Gwen Stefani. Many of you know Gwen Stefani. And it's kind of funny to think that I think Gwen Stefani is probably like, pro well, not to the people who watch this channel. Probably Mommy and Gracie show people are like, oh my gosh, she's like so old. So they sent me all of the Cuckoo Harajuku dolls. So there's one, two, three, four, five dolls in the line. Let's go over this way. And I did not even know this existed because I did not see this on display at Toy Fair. Um, Love, who's one of the girls, this is Love's purse play set. So this is like a, a small, smaller size doll. She's like all plastic and she's got this really cool play set. And we are gonna take a look at this playset in another video, but I wanted to make sure you got a chance to at least get a quick view of it. It's really, really cute. And there are other playsets that are coming out. Um, there's going to be a perform and go, a perform, for, so G is of course the leader of the band. And so her performing practice space, Baby's got a kawaii play state where you're gonna party, um, rock out in music's recording studio, and style up an angel's fashion set. So there are going to be other pocket play sets. And I love these kinds of little play sets. If, if you know me from Mommy and Gracie show, you know that I really, I love tiny things. You know, like if I were going to create another, you know, channel to add to my 88 channels that I already have, I would, um, you know, make a channel just about tiny toys. Um, I have Pinterest boards with just tiny, with like dollhouse miniatures, and then I have a subcategory of steampunk dollhouse miniatures and kawaii miniatures because there are some people who make amazing, amazing um, Japanese inspired, like tiny, like felted cute little thing. It's just, oh, I love tiny. Anyway, now I'm going to tell you right now, you need to make sure that you go follow my Instagram, which is mommy's doll corner, because in a few days, make sure you go follow it now. In a few days, I am going to be giving away the Cuckoo Harajuku DVD and it's called Music Baby. And this is an animated movie. Um, and this was on Nickelodeon. So there is a companion series on Nickelodeon for the Cuckoo Harajuku dolls. And uh, this is about um, their band, HJS, and they travel all over the world. The There are several episodes in here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. It looks like there's 12 episodes on here. And this was also co-created in cooperation with Gwen Stefani. So I have a feeling the music is going to be really, really cool. I haven't watched it yet, so I'm gonna to have to go check it out uh, so I can stream, I'm sure I can stream it online because I can stream Nickelodeon and uh, see what this is all about. But I'm going to be giving away this DVD, so make sure you are subscribed to Mommy's Doll Corner on Instagram because that is where the giveaway is going to take place. So now let's take a look at the Cuckoo Harajuku dolls. So this is, I'm doing these in no particular order, this is Baby, and notice they've got just all of the cute kawaii elements. We've got the somewhat larger head, we've got really cool fashions, we've got very large round anime eyes, and really cute hair. They come with charms, and so you can use the charms to decorate your own hair bows, or you can have them decorate your doll. Uh, she comes with two hair bows here, and so you can use the charms to put in there, or you can put them on your doll. And here's the back of the box, and so it shows you the doll, um, and then shows you the other dolls that are available. I love her big hair. She was one of my favorites, um, both for her hair and her outfit. When I saw her at Toy Fair, 
I went to Catholic school, and so anytime I see that anything that kind of looks like a Catholic school uniform, I did I did 12 years of Catholic school. High school was all girls. Good times. And um, so anytime I see anything that looks like a Catholic school girl uniform, I'm both horrified and attracted to it at the same time. So Baby is adorable and loves cute things. She's like the little sister of the group, and a uh, good thing everybody has her back. So she's, I guess, the youngest and the one who needs a little, a little extra TLC. The next one here is Angel, and Angel comes with wings that you can use as barrettes. And there's a picture of the girl with like sort of like angel's wings, almost looking like Vulcan ears, actually. And same thing, she's got some Harajuku charms that you can either put on the wings or you can put them on your doll's hair. She's got this really cool sort of uh, yellow and blue bandana that I'm really digging. And she's really, really cute. And her name is Angel. And she's the cheerleader of the band. She's always making big plans to help promote the band and book amazing gigs. So she's very into sort of managing and, and, and pushing the band forward and getting them out there. And she also has, you know, sort of that Catholic school girl-ish sort of, but that's very common in um, Japanese fashion and kind of the Harajuku look, which there really is a Harajuku style, by the way. And then the next one, her name is Music. Good name, excellent name. And uh, Music comes with a keychain, actually. She does not come with barrettes for you, so she comes with this keychain here, so you can hang that off your backpack or your bag. And she's got m more of an Asian, typical Asian style thing with the, um, the two chopstick um, hair things, which I'm not sure what the real technical term for them is. I'm pretty sure they're not hair chopsticks though. So please, please, please correct me for my, my uh, lack of social sense, uh, my lack of cultural sensitivity on that one. And again, she's got like the whole Catholic schoolgirl look, but the colors and the, the colors on baby just remind me so much of my own uniform. So I think that's why I'm like really picking that up more with her than with the other girls. Uh, so music is the feisty and fearless defender of her squad. She won't put up with anyone picking on her friends. So she's the tough one. Music is the tough cookie of the group. Look at her artwork. Her artwork's really cute. I love all of their artwork. I have to tell you, I am, so as many of you know, I'm turning 50 at the end of this year. And uh, one of the things that I want to do for my 50th birthday is I want to get a tattoo. And because uh, I've never had a tattoo and it's something I've always wanted to do. And I figure now I'm old enough to make a choice that I can live with. And so I keep looking at, I'm looking at art and I kind of know what I want, but every time now I look at something like cartoony and cute, I'm like, oh, that'd be a really cute tattoo. <laughs> So our next one is Love. I love her colors because red is my favorite color. So this is Love. She comes with a bracelet that you can use your Harajuku charms on. And I love the colors of her outfit. And I love sort of the blue accent with the red. I really dig her hair also. And her art is just really cute. I kind of like, kind of like the look on her face with her art. And um, I'm also, uh, I'm just kind of, she's got this sort of um, nuclear symbol here. No, 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 because I'm clear sure what's going on with the, uh, the whole physics there. Uh, love is the sweet, optimistic, and positive center of the band. Love loves everything. She's me. <laughs> and always tries to look on the bright side. Oh my God, she's totally me. And she's also quite the inventor. So that would explain why we've got the scientific symbol here. So she's the creative inventor of the group. That's really cool. I like that. That kind of fits me. And then last, but absolutely not least, is G. Now, G obviously modeled after Gwen Stefani herself. No two ways about it. G is a blonde. G's outfit is much different from the rest of the girls, and I believe she's the leader of the band, but um, she doesn't have the plaid and stuff. She has a completely different kind of outfit going on. 
Um, well, completely different is probably not accurate. She comes with one large bow barrette that you can decorate with her charms. Here's her little cute artwork down here. Um, she's totally, totally Gwen Stefani. And so G is the lead singer and level-headed leader of the band, always keeping the band on track and focusing on sharing their music with the world. So she is really, really cute. I am going to get them all out of their boxes and then we will take some close-up looks at the Cuckoo Harajuku girls. So Gwen, I mean G, is out of the box and one of the coolest things that I noticed when I got them out of the box is that they can stand on their own. You have to sort of get them positioned just right, but she can stand on her own two feet, something I always like. Also the dolls are articulated. They're articulated at the wrists and also at the elbows and the knees, not articulated at the feet. So let's go ahead and take a close look at G's face. So she's obviously got a really, you know, obvious Gwen Stefani tie-in here. She's got the red lip, totally Gwen, and I believe Gwen has brown eyes as well. If you'll notice up here in her headband, I've used one of the little doodads, uh, the pieces of jewelry that you can put in. And so all of their accessories, there's a spot where it has a little hole where you can just pop in or out the different charms that come with the dolls. Look at those lips. Those are so Gwen, come on. And then let's take a look at her outfit. It's really cute. As I said, it's very different than the rest of the girls. We're continuing the bow theme. There's a little bit of sparkle in her crinoline. Her dress is like a little sort of hitched up over here. And there is a bow, a plastic bow on the side here and uh, it needs some time to sort of relax so it will not be all hitched up looking. So, but with time, with display, she's got actual leggings. These are not painted on. And then she's got these really cool black and white leg warmers that go with the really cool black and white boots that I really love. These are like space boots. I mean, they're massive in comparison to her actual feet and her body. And then this is the giant bow barrette that comes with G. This thing is huge. And this thing is like massive. Like, I don't, I definitely don't have enough hair for any of this, but definitely not for that. Her head is also articulated, so you can pose her. Um, you're always grabbing them like, you know, so there's a little bit of movement in the head. But you see, she's actually pretty stable. I'm kind of moving her around and she's not just flopping over, which is nice. Uh, the elbow's a little stiff at first, but then I got them to work. I don't want to do it with one hand and knock her off the stand. So this is G. She's really, really cute. Um, definitely got, a, she has like, like one piece of tinsel. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. Get closer to the camera. Do you see she has like one or two strands of tinsel in her hair? It's kind of funny. It's like either go all tinsel or don't. Um, so I don't know if that's just the way this particular doll was manufactured or if all of them have like two pieces, two strands of tinsel in their hair. But I thought that was kind of funny. Okay. Should I make the really bad nobody puts baby in the corner joke or should I just, uh, I already did, didn't I? So Baby, of course, is the one that uh, needs a little more loving care, according to her description, and she is the youngest, according to the description. Uh, she's the one who reminds me in her outfit very much of my uh, both grammar school and high school uniform colors because I wore maroon and gray for 12 years. They were two different uniforms, but they were both maroon and gray. So here's Baby's uh, close up on Baby's face. She has uh, bows, her theme is more bows. So she's got these white bows. They're shoved a little bit forward in her hair. It's gonna take me a little bit of work to get that undone. And then she's got sort of this uh, scientific creativity symbol in her, uh, that's one of her charms. I also just wanted to give you a comparison on the skin tone. See, there you can see there's G and there's Baby. So we have a multitude of skin tones in the Cuckoo Harajuku dolls, which makes me happy. And I love her hair. It's just so springy and fun and a little bit of pink in it. And then she's got definitely a more, you know, a less bright look. I love the, the gray and pink as much as it's giving me flashbacks. It's also giving me flashbacks in like a good way. The other thing that I thought was cute was that the rest of the girls have knee pads and high boots while 
uh, G or Gwen has like sort of the space sneakers and the leggings or leg warmers. Here are the two bow barrettes that come with baby. So I put some of the charms in them. She is also articulated wrists, elbows, her head, everything moves a little bit. And she's really cute. She's definitely cute. I like the color scheme. I like the boots. As I said, they're, uh, they're not articulated at the ankles. So that's probably also one of the reasons that they stand so well. So this is Love and she might be my favorite because I love red because I think the description of her personality kind of fits me very well too. Again, articulated in the hands, in the wrists. So we can and also in the elbow. There we go. So she can kind of, you know, she can do that if for some reason she wanted to. She could stand like that. Let's take a close up look at her face and her hair because I think they're both really cool. So her hair, she's got a lot going on here. She's got a blue headband. She's got two barrette things going. She's got this sort of pink and light pink. This is the charm I put in and then she's got another pink thing going on over here. So if you take a look at the back of her hair, her hair to me is giving me like a really more Japanese feel or like an anime feel with the big sort of curls. Um, she's one of the, the few in the set that's really giving, there's two of them that give me that vibe. She's got big, bright blue anime eyes, very anime looking. And then the rest of her outfit, I'm really digging because of the colors. I love gray, red, and black together. And that's what we've got going on here. There's a little bit of sparkle at the bottom of her skirt here that I kind of dig. Then she's got the knee pads. She's got some pink and white socks, which is a little strange. And then we've got white and black boots. There's a little bit of a paint error going on, sort of mid boot here, but uh, Gracie could touch that up for me. And then her accessory is a bracelet. So you get a bracelet that you could wear. And I put some of the charms on her bracelet. As I said, she's definitely my favorite from a color perspective, and I really, really dig her hair. And here's Angel, and it's interesting to note also, again, when we're talking about skin tones, when we look at Angel and we compare her with Love, um, Love is definitely lighter skinned, but not as fair skinned, I believe, as G. So I like that we are recognizing in the doll world that people come in various shades of beige and brown. There's a lot going on with her hair, which I really like. Her hair kind of has like an auburn thing to it. You can see there's sort of a streaky thing going on. She's got these twists. So she's got multiple twists. I put her little charm, uh, one of her charms into one of her little barrettes. She's got the two twists. So the headband goes all the way around the back. And then it really kind of like this side of the headband because it's got this little bow thing going. I just think it's like more than, I don't know. I like it better than it just being like a headband. So to go with her auburn hair, she's also got sort of orangey brown eyes. And if you, I didn't point out on the other dolls, but they their catch lights in their eyes are little hearts, which is very sweet and cute. Very kawaii. And then her uniform or outfit is a blue, gray, and black, uh, and with a little light blue sort of um, fishnetty sparkle stuff with yellow, bright yellow matching her headband. And then she's got some leg warmers in blue and white, and then very light blue and white sneaker boot things. And then her accessories are two barrettes that are angel's wings and they're meant to go vertically. She's really cute. Her accessories like her, her angel wing, um, her angel wing barrettes and her charms were kind of my least favorite. Um, but otherwise I think she's really cute. And then last but absolutely not least is music. And music's theme is very purple and lavender. She has 
the streaks in her hair, I think the light is picking it up. There's a there's a purple sort of highlighty streak thing going on to her hair. She also has very anime, uh, very Japanese looking hair with the two giant buns. This, I put um, one of her little, it's, it's actually a charm. They each have a charm that sort of looks like them. So it's the charm that kind of looks like her is up in there, but I'm gonna pop that out for you. There you go. I'm gonna pop that out so that you can see that this other piece is actually um, it's a treble clef and you that's and that has the holes where you put the the charm but the charm actually ends up covering the treble clef so her her color theme is definitely very lavender um, but there's also blue or maybe violet I guess we're gonna go with violet we're gonna call it violet going in so we've got several shades going on with this and of course she's got her knee pads the cool stripey leg warmers and then she's got the sneaker boots her accessory is probably one of the coolest because this is like a keychain or like a backpack hanger or something and it's got music notes and stuff and it's really cool so i kind of dig that so what did you think of the Cuckoo Harajuku dolls? Um, as I said, they're uh, a project in cooperation with it's Mattel, Nickelodeon, Gwen Stefani. It's music, it's friendship, it's fun. It's got that sort of Harajuku fashion inspired look. And I'm trying to do that thing where I hold more than three dolls at one time. And that is pretty much physically impossible for me. Let's all be honest here. Let's see if I can get them to stand up and not fall over. Can you do that? Nope, that's not gonna happen. And then I'm gonna move this and they're all gonna fall. Watch. Oh my gosh, it's a miracle. Wait, I need to turn Angel this way. Nobody fall, nobody breathe, nobody breathe. I actually got them all to stand up. Ta -da! So I'm over here. So we've got baby, G, love, angel, and music. Let me know what was your favorite. I will put a poll card because there are five dolls. I'm gonna tell you right now, as I already said, love is definitely my favorite of the five of them. I think they're all adorable. Just really love her color combination and I love the description of her personality and her talents. Don't forget to go check out Mommy's Doll Corner on Instagram so you can enter to win. I'll be doing a giveaway of the DVD. Thank you again so much to Mattel for sending the Cuckoo Harajuku dolls to me as well as the DVD and the little pocket playset, which I'll be reviewing in another video. I think these are absolutely adorable. I've seen them now in multiple stores. I will put pricing and information about where you can buy them online down below. I thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you ring the bell so you never miss a video. Subscribe and watch another video on Mommy's Doll Corner, and I'll see you again real soon. Thank you so much. Love you. Bye.